Right. Hi, I'm Amy McKay. Thanks for inviting me. It's nice to connect with you all. I hope I get to talk more um, with you guys after this, maybe via LinkedIn or some other way personally so we can know each other. So I'm happy to be here and to share a little bit about my work and how I came into doing it. I basically spent my entire life wanting to be a doctor. Um, I knew from the time I was three, I was going to be a doctor and fascination with healing my entire life. And then my mom died when I was 20. She died of cancer and watching her die was um, a horrendous experience for me. And I basically lost my entire interest in medicine. To me, they had failed drastically. And it was this, um, not just her death, but watching her suffer those mm -hmm. few years. So um, after that, my life kind of went, ended up dropping out of college. I spent majority of my 20s chronically sick. Um, I ended up diagnosed with fibromyalgia, interstitial cystitis, irritable bowel syndrome. I had nine freaking different urologists, none of which did any help um, for me at all. And then I had a, my first daughter when I was, I think, 29. And there was a day when I was too sick to take care of her. I really did literally crawl to the phone, called out of bed into the phone, had to ask for help. So I said, screw this, um, I'm not gonna do this anymore. And that day I went on a quest, basically searching for healing in places that I didn't know existed before then. So I found all kinds of really interesting things in fitness, nutrition, and meditation. And um, one thing basically led to another. So within 30 days of following this one specific diet, I already felt significantly better. In 30 days, I had spent most of my 20s sick and in 30 days felt better. Um, got myself a personal trainer, uh, got involved in doing some meditation, different types of meditation stuff. Though the mind stuff I was always um, fascinated with. When I was 10, I wanted to be a brain surgeon. In high school, I wanted to be an anesthesiologist. So the mind has been a lifelong passion for me, the neuroscience. Um, my first certification was in personal was in personal training. So I was working out all the time and I thought, you know, I spent all these hours just studying holistic health and related stuff and this lifestyle. So I thought I should like do this for a living. What, you know, why, why am I not putting this use and sharing this? So mm. my first certification was in personal training. That was probably 14 years ago. And I have like 16 other certifications. So I, I get, I hire a coach every year. I firmly believe in what I do and what other coaches do and the value that we bring to um, other people's lives. I get a new certification every year. Um, but one, those things all led from one thing to another. So the original certification, the first one was in personal training. Some of my favorite training was the mind stuff. The Silver Life System is a very incredible program. I have three different levels of that and I've gone back and redone it because it trains your mind. It uh, blends quantum physics wow. with spirituality and the brain, like the neuroscience of the brain. And they keep it very simple. Like it's not... Um, I think the majority of the population could understand what they teach because they do it in such a it's very accessible. It's um I think you have to be somewhat open minded to the possibility that you have control over your life and you know your consciousness and things. So there has to be some interest. But that was that. And then uh, you know, I'm very driven type A and I came to realize that mindfulness might be a good way instead of trying to always do stuff um, and control things. So mindfulness, my mindfulness training was very much so emotional intelligence based. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's the missing soft skill, yeah. um, especially now. I think empathy, empathetic leadership, I've done some speaking on that. These are the, you know, the things that we're going to need. I was just making a post, I'll share it later, that says your greatest gift to the world is your presence. So mm -hmm. um, I think that that's most important. So that's basically, so basically what I do is coaching and corporate training as well as I do intuitive work um, and energy work. So the the move away from your medical aspirations was because of the feeling of, of the way that you'd seen your mother suffer, but rather than defeating you, it helped you to find strength and solutions in other areas. Yep, like it took a lot of years before I got there. How many? Uh, well, she died when I was 20 and I discovered natural healing at like 29. So those nine years of, I think you're kind of lost in your 20s sometimes anyway. I mean, maybe some, yeah, 20, yeah, yeah. Maybe some 20 year olds haven't figured out, but I didn't. I thought I did. And then I was like, yeah, never mind. And I'm, you know, 40, almost 47 now. And it's still, you know, I'm, I'm still 
I'm still growing and evolving, and that's well, fine. I tell yeah. you what, I uh, what I had the, the thing, or the first thing that happened to me, uh, six years of drug and alcohol abuse. I wasn't even uh, operating on any level. So um, nine years now. I, I'm 25 years after my first thing. It takes time. It does it's, take time. It yeah. does take time. And I did. I did the alcohol and drug abuse thing too in my early early 20s after my mother's death because it just everything. Like my whole world was destroyed. Sure, I do. So yeah. let's start over. And I think, yeah, I, I still, one day I'm going to write some books and people, when I talk about like entire life story, people don't really believe that that's like, is that really true? I'm like, <laughs> I sometimes I question it myself, but I think it's made me stronger. I'm very um, passionate and compassionate. So, good, good, good. Well, we're going to we're gonna have a, a greater chat uh, later in the week. And uh, tomorrow we're coming back with Solomon. So thanks very much, Amy. And Thank wave you. goodbye, everyone. Even though Christine's, hey, there she